everybody, Lux into Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. I'm gonna try combining a couple of things today into, <laughs> into this one video. <laughs> I have two 20 ounce skinny straights. These are glow sublimation tumblers. They glow red in the dark. These are from the Stainless Depot. I have this beautiful new set of Bombay inks from Dr. P.H. Martins, and I want to try using these. These are water-based, and I also want to use the alcohol ink equivalent colors. So I'm gonna start by putting white glitter onto these white cups using the epoxy method, and then we're gonna play with some inks. Okay, we're back. These have set up and now we are going to start playing with our colors. And what I picked were these three colors from the Bombay Ink collection. This is Cherry Red, Crimson, and Tangerine. So those are the three colors I want to use from the inks. And then over here, to match those as closely as I possibly could, we have a short trip from Woody's Goodies, and then Cosmo from Woody's Goodies, and Orange Crush from Woody's Goodies. So we're gonna see what the visual difference is, and if there's any other difference. If it behaves differently when it's on the glitter, if it behaves differently once we get resin on the tumbler, that sort of thing. I'm going to do color around the top of each one, and then I'm gonna flip them and do color on the bottom. I have three disposable pipettes that I'll be using for the Bombay inks because they don't have droppers in them. So I'm gonna start here. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I've never done this exact thing before. So I'm just gonna get going. Hopefully everything will be visible. Okay, so just jumping in here. This is a short trip. This is the darkest red I picked. Oh no, right off the bat I screwed up. All right, it's all right, it's all right. The idea is to put it up here on the rim, not do that. But since I'm coming up from the bottom as well, a little later on, I'm going to pretend that that was intentional. We'll go with happy accident. Okay. This is Cosmopolitan. Okay, I wish I didn't have this set up for right hand because this is part of my problem is I'm a lefty and this is really awkward for me. But I need you to be able to see it, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay, Orange Crush. I think that's quite attractive actually. Okay, now while that sets and dries a little bit, I'm gonna bring this over here so it's a little easier for me. And I'm gonna try and do the same thing with the Bombay inks. The cherry red is the dark one. Then we have crimson to match Cosmopolitan, the red one. And then we have a tangerine to match Orange Crush, which I realize doesn't make any sense, but so here's, here's happening. I'm gonna have to hold it. Can you still see? Okay. It may not sink in. This may be the big difference. It's not sinking in. It's sitting on top of the... So there's a, there's a big difference right there. It's water, it's not alcohol, and it's not sinking in. It's all cascading down this one pathway now. Yeah. Want it to come on, open up another pathway. Okay, <laughs> not what I was going for, but now we know. I 
and a lot of bubbles, which is weird. But this stuff, for some reason, this stuff bubbles a lot, I've noticed when I've tested it in other places. Not what I thought, but don't hate it exactly. I'm going to use my Dollar Tree paper towel holder and do that. It will probably drip some more, but that's okay. I'm going to use my left hand. I'm sorry, but I'm going to. I kind of like what it's doing. I mean, it's just totally different from the alcohol inks, but I, I like it. This actually would be fun to do with all the colors of the rainbow. Okay, this section here, I believe, is the crimson. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put this aside. It needs more time to dry because this is not alcohol, it's water-based. So we're just gonna move it over here. All right, that was a little more than I wanted but it's okay. So I'll just add more. <laughs> All right. These are gonna sit, they're gonna dry, and when they're completely dry, I can put some resin on them. See how they look. And we're back. Okay, here's the situation. Last time you saw this, I just put the alcohol ink on this tumbler and the Bombay water-based ink on this tumbler, and I let them dry overnight, and then I applied two, I applied two layers of <laughs> epoxy resin over each cup. For the first layer, I used Mr. Nola's Glitter Speed Dry Epoxy, not because I was in a hurry, but because this is super thick when it's mixed up. So the first layer was a nice thick layer and it covered almost everything. But then I did a little light sanding and then I put on a second layer of epoxy resin. That was the Tumblr's coating epoxy and that is a very thin viscosity epoxy resin when it's mixed up. And I wanted a very thin layer for the second one. So now we are ready to go. I'm gonna put water slides on these. I am gonna go Halloween. Just a reminder, these are glow in the dark tumblers. <laughs> I grabbed a black and white because we already have color on our tumbler. I don't wanna mess with that. So I thought a Halloween themed black and white graphic to go over this would be kind of cool. So that's what we're gonna do. This is Hippo or Hippo H-I-I-P-O-O -O, water slide decal paper that I really prefer using. I printed this out on my Canon Pixma inkjet printer and then I sealed it with three layers of clear spray, two layers of Rust-Oleum 2X gloss clear spray, and the third layer is Plasti-Dip Glossifier. That is my choice of how to do it. You don't have to use the Plasti-Dip Glossifier if you don't choose to. Some people do more than three layers of a clear spray. Some people only do a couple layers of a clear spray. You need at least one layer to lock the inkjet graphics in. Otherwise, when you put it in water, like I'm doing here, the inkjet inks will run. Now that I've got it pretty much where I want it, I'm going to take my silicone makeup brush, which doubles as a squeegee here, and try and get out all the water and the wrinkles and everything. So yeah, water slides can be intimidating, but you know, with practice, 
and probably some mistakes along the way. Don't feel bad about that. It happens to everybody. You'll get it. All right, so basically when you're happy with how it looks, put it aside, let it dry overnight. Some people only let theirs dry an hour or so. I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna do the second one. Then it'll be time for resin tomorrow. Mm -hmm.